Kyle. <laughs> We're moving on. And in fact, hey, Kyle, uh, uh, Ben, we're glad you're in the comments. Actually, I went on, Ben had a, uh, a preview, Super Bowl preview show on Sunday, and I went on there. And we actually talked about this. Is Kyle Shanahan cursed? And what I mean by that is we've seen the amount of success that Kyle Shanahan has had. He's been able to get to, what, three Super Bowls. He's been in the last three NFC championships. They have solidified themselves, the San Francisco 49ers, as by far probably the best team in the NFC for the last couple of years. But whenever it comes to these big moments, even if he has a lead, it's he true. always seems to fail. I don't well, know what it is. Is he cursed? It, what is the problem, Janae? Like, I don't know because I feel like they have good game plans. I feel right. like I don't, I just, he's calling the right stuff. They they almost had it, Sean. I just can't I can't, you know, down him. But like like we were talking about earlier, you can't get rid of him. I mean, he's getting yeah. you to the dance. He's getting you there. Yeah. So even though he may be a little cursed, you gotta maybe ride with it. You literally yeah, you gotta ride with it. Yeah. Cause he's getting you to the game. You just gotta figure it out. And I think because they were in it with Kansas City, like it wasn't a we thought that they were, you know, San Francisco going to win in the first half. Yeah, that's true. So that's true. they just got to figure mean, shoot, it out, man. Certain parts of the fourth quarter, I thought that that San yes. Francisco was going to pull it out. Yes. So, and that's the I, that's I, the I was crazy. nervous the whole time for for, for Kansas City because I was like, yo, Sam Rand's going to win this game. Well, and so that's the crazy part for me because obviously we have to ask these questions because Kyle his record isn't good when it comes down to it. It's kind of almost like Aaron Rodgers is one in four in championship games. Kyle Shanahan cannot seem to get over that big hump, but then it, you also have to ask two of the times that Kyle Shanahan has played. Well, you have to ask this all three of the times he's played it in the Super Bowl, The quarterback that he's played against is considered a goat. He's played. He lost to Tom Brady and the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history. And yep. then he's lost twice to Patrick Mahomes. So is it really Kyle Shanahan or You're is right. it the fact that he's going up against the GOAT? I mean, you are so right. I, I really I, I, think I, it's like, it's both. It's both. Because what you know when you get there, the AFC is, a, they're good. Their top teams are good. They're not just yeah. average coaches. Right. So, I think it just matters who's got the ball in their hand last. And if you're going to make sure, that should be the goal. Make sure that Mahomes never has the ball last. Yep. Yep. Kyle Shanahan's plays not to lose. Yeah, that, that's true. Rather than to play to win in the second half of big games. You're right. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. Kyle finds yeah, himself good. facing off against Kansas City Chiefs. Both times he's gone to the Super Bowl. They seem to have their number. Maybe he needs to face off against a different AFC team. Very true. I mean, mm-hmm. if that happens, but you think everybody's got to go through Mahomes now. There should be no question on the AFC side. What's good, That's y'all? Me. The OG first ladies of the G V five. Let's go. That's me, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, and, and to that point, how many, how many teams in the AFC were great but got knocked out by the Tom Brady's. You know what I mean? And that's just the same thing we're dealing with now. Yeah. All these great teams, the Buffalo Bills, have had stellar teams over the past couple of years, but it's either the Bengals or the or the Chiefs. They can't seem to get over that hump. Yeah. Sometimes it's just those teams. I mean, it was the 49ers in the 80s. You guys in the early 90s, you they just somehow seem to keep reloading and keep getting better. And that's where we're at with these guys. Is it? So are you comfortable with just being in the Super Bowl and not winning? I mean, hey, that's somebody, what you're going to have to ask you. Somebody who hasn't been there in a You'll good amount of time. You'll take it any day, right? You'll yes. take it any day? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will gladly be your next victim. I'll uh, take it yeah. too, man. Trust me. If I can just get two games, y'all, two more games. Come on. <sighs> I, can, I, can I just get to the playoffs? I mean, come on now. I should be relevant in December. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, as a Falcons fan, the answer is no. The answer is no. Well, well, 
woo, 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 woo. <laughs> It'll be a sad face for Washington fans for a long time. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Just want to be relevant again. Look, all right, we're moving on. We got one more thing. And look, we couldn't go an episode without talking about it. Apparently, love is love is love. We know tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Uh, did we get the ending we wanted for Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey? I will go first. No, because I wanted yes! to see a proposal or I wanted to see a total <laughs> breakdown. I thought when, he, when Travis shoved Andy Reid, we were going to see that breakdown, but apparently it did not happen. <laughs> Janae, what do you think? That's what you was hoping for, Sean. What, what, you're so bad. Come on. I, I think Come on. what happened was what we knew was going to happen all along, my delusional friend over there. Uh, <laughs> they greeted each other with some smooches. She got back on that plane and headed back over to Tokyo for a tour, man. I mean, what, what more can you want, Sean? He wasn't going to propose. It's too early. And, and from the looks of it, she's dead in love. So she ain't going nowhere, Sean. It ain't happening. The demise okay. will not happen. Okay, hold up. All right, I know we're in a modern day where where the woman can earn more than the man, but when the woman could buy a whole country, <laughs> there's going to be a little bit of disparity there. If Travis isn't playing anymore, making his measly couple million, all right, how long is she going to put up with that? That's all hey, I'm saying. My question is, would you take that couple million? Would you take yeah, Taylor yeah, Swift? Yeah. Money. Yes. Yes. So let let the man will, be, man. Let him be I will free. shake it off every day. <laughs> let him be free, man. I'm hyped for him. Sean is just hating. He don't want to see the love, romance. He don't want to see that. He wants <sighs> Travis Kelsey to go down. Oh, an ulterior goodness. motive. So let's let Travis, you be happy, man. Be happy. But I agree with this, Delilah. It's not romantic if everybody knows the proposals. Bingo. I get that. Bingo. I get that. God. God. Now, see, this is the problem. Now he's going to be around for all this time. So now we're still in suspense. They still have our attention, Janae. The season is over. They, the season wasn't even enough. Now they have our attention in the offseason. Sean, you sad? You sad? <laughs> I it's am. Okay. I am. It's okay. I need to conclude. John, we're right? going for the perfect love story. It's just not right this second. They're not going to propose yet. It's going to be a special something later, but I'm happy how it went down. I'm happy. Oh. 